Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Merry Christmas to everybody. I do have some Christmas beers in there, but I want to do these main beers, uh, main brewing company beers first. They're, uh, they're really fresh and I want to drink them fresh. So for the, uh, for the next couple of days, uh, I'm going to do the, the two main beers that I have from, that Michael and Terry sent me. And uh, we're going to get into uh, some of the Christmas beers. I think I've got two or three in there. So uh, we're going to do the two main beers. I'll do one today and one tomorrow. And then we'll get into a few of the Christmas beers and end up uh, end up the week uh, over the weekend uh, with the Christmas beers that I have. Uh, and then we'll get back into the regular schedule. So ho, 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 everybody. I hope Santa Claus brings them everything they want. So let's get on with this one. Michael, Terry, thanks a bunch for... Uh, for, for braving the weather and uh, and standing outside in line and the sleet and the snow and all that stuff up there uh, to, to get your hands on these beers and, and, and get them down to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, this is Maine, Maine Beer Company's Lunch. That's what they call it. Uh, this is an IPA. Uh, they are out of Freeport, Maine. Uh, it is a 7 percenter. I uh, don't have the IB listed here, and I don't think it's on the bottle. It says bottle condition, pour carefully. Uh, fine layer of yeast at the bottom of this bottle. Chill upright, enjoy fresh. Hoppy beers do not age well, I tell you that all the time. It has 11, 18, 14, so we're right at a month old. Uh, it says drink within 90 days, a stamp born on date. And I think we're well within that. But I, I do want to get to it before they turn into mock bombs. And uh, I reviewed a couple of the main beers several years ago. And they were old as crap. Uh, and uh, that was just the, the distribution that we're in. Or people hadn't heard of them and just left them on the shelves. And I came along and said, well, I haven't tried them. And I picked them up. And I wasn't really impressed with them because uh, they were old beers. Uh, I tell you guys all the time, just like it says right at home on the label, drink your hoppy beers fresh, as fresh as you possibly can. So uh, I've had this about a week now, and I think it's time. So and I've had a couple of subscribers say, "Why are you waiting on?" All right, guys, here it is. We're going to do this and uh, start off uh, with uh, like we normally do. Uh, commercial description on this one. This is our East Coast version of a West Coast style IPA. Intense hot flavors and aromas of tropical and citrus fruits and pine dominate. A subtle malt sweetness brings the beer into balance. The food package for this is your typical IPAs. Cuisine is curried in a tie. <coughs> Excuse me. Cheeses are pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue, cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses go well with these. And the meat is poultry fish and shellfish. And I will add grilled meat to that because I like everything off the grill with my IPAs, guys. And uh, <coughs> the uh, glass rod, pint backer, nine, tumbler, mug, stein, and side ale. I'm going to use this uh, tool of glass that uh, Paris sent to me. You're going to see this one and the double glass used more and more often because I love the shape of these glasses. And both of these glasses, that one and the double glass, are pretty heavy. I actually think this one's a little heavier than the double glass. But it doesn't hold quite as much. But uh, it'll hold uh, everything we need to put in it to do a beer review in, guys. So, uh, not recommended for extended selling, of course. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here we need to talk about. So, without further ado... Boy, it's cold, wet, rainy out there, a little bit of sleet. <clears throat> a tickle in my throat. Need to get some liquid on it. <clears throat> get this into the bottle. And this is a 
a little bit of a bigger bottle. Uh, it's more than a 12 ounce. Uh, let's see if it says on here. One pint, nine fluid ounces. So, uh, pint 16 ounces and nine on top of that. So we got about 25 fluid ounces in here. It's not going to fit into this glass. And like I said, it says there's it's bottle condition, so there is a sediment, and we're going to try to leave that there. Alright guys, and they use basically a white label for everything that I've seen them do. Everything that's that I've seen on the shelves here and these two bottles that uh, Michael and Terry sent down to me uh, had that same white label on them but they do have the bottle on date printed right on the side of the label it ain't no digitized code very easy to read uh, month day and a year uh, thumbs up to those guys at the main brewing company for doing that so uh, they have definitely stepped up to the plate and giving you the information that you need there so uh, and telling you they want you to have it within 90 days I love that for their shelf lives a lot of the craft brewers will put six months on there and, and they'll put uh, enjoy before this date. I like, I'd like. i rather have the bottled on date. Uh, that, that tells me how long it's sitting on there. And, and then they go that next step and say have within 90 days. So that tells you what they think the shelf life is. Uh, so I like that. I like that a lot. So with that pour about a finger of hand. Over to the light, it is a nice orange tangerine color, nice golden color. Very good looking beer in the glass, don't you think? Nice Christmassy beer. I'm a hophead, I love these IPAs. No matter if it's New Year's Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Christmas. Let's get a nose on it, guys. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. Uh, Definitely smells like a West Coast style with the pine and the grapefruit and tropical fruit notes. Very citrusy, orange, mangoes, pineapple. Mm. Smells very, very nice. It's that time. Let's get it on, guys. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Michael. Terry, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. That's delicious. All you guys in New England that can get your hands on this and you're a hop head, you need to try this. But I would think if you're a hop head and you're in New England, you probably already tried this. This is their lunch. And the other bottle in there is dinner. So you can have lunch and dinner and go on about your business. <laughs> this is a 7% and I think dinner is a little heavier than that. So uh, you might want to have uh, one for lunch and have the other one for dinner instead of having both together because then you might have a buzz and you won't be able to go back to work. <laughs> oh, it's got a wonderful citrusy pine. Mm, wonderful smell. Definitely West Coast style. They captured it very, very well. That's delicious, guys. Very nice, very nice Christmasy beer. Mm. I can sit here and drink the whole thing in front of you. It's right out of the fridge, guys. Let's let it warm up. We'll come back. Looks pretty impressive. Definitely, definitely feels like an A beer. So let's see where we wind up with this one. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is very, very tasty. Uh, very good example of an East Coast brewery doing a West Coast style, in my opinion. Uh, all you guys up in New England, then get your hands on this. Consider yourself very lucky. This is a definitely a world-class beer. Uh, very tasty, very citrusy, a lot of tropical fruit notes, very fruity, uh, nice hot presence, very pleasant aromas, uh, pine, grapefruit, pineapple, Oranges, mangoes, tangerines, very, very tasty. Uh, <clears throat> I can see why a couple of my subs, Brad and a couple others, are saying, What are you waiting on? Do it, do it. And uh, that's why I went ahead and stuck this in. And, and instead of doing some of the Christmas beers, we're going to do uh, uh, lunch today 
which is what this is and we're going to try to get uh, dinner tomorrow and get those two out of the way since uh, they're kind of fresh and we need to drink those fresh so uh, let's see the final chug on this one Very delicious, guys. Very, very delicious. Very tasty. West Coast style done here on the East Coast. So, wish I could, wish I could get these that fresh. But uh, like I said uh, last time, I tried to pick up some main beer around here. They were three or four months old, if not older, if I remember correctly. So, uh, hopefully, the new beer store uh, here in town will be able to get some of this stuff a little fresher and. Uh, and reject it when it shows up from the distributor and it's three or four months old already. Kroger's doesn't give a crap. I mean, they just want to put it out there and, and, and let any sucker that comes along buy it. As is the case with the Duclaw beer that I bought uh, and got it home and, and found out that it was bottled in April. On, a, on an IPA or a double IP, you're going to try to sell a beer in December that was bottled in April? Let me slap the taste out of your mouth. Uh, you need to look at those dates, guys. A lot of the bottles do have the dates on them, and if it's if it's that old, just let the damn thing sit there. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, very disappointed that I didn't get a response back from Duclaw on that. So, uh, very very disappointed. I really am a big fan of Duclaw beers, and they've actually sent me beers on, uh, for some that were reviewed and that were bad, uh, and uh, kind of disappointed that they, they didn't take the time to respond back to my. Uh, my email to, uh, to them on this on that beer so evidently they don't care oh well so be it uh, this is a world-class beer guys it is definitely a tasty one and if you can get your hands on a fresh bottle of this uh, it's got the date on it so check your dates uh, don't buy don't be like I was and buy something that's uh, three or four five six months old uh, uh, you, you, you'll be disappointed and I'm sure they'll be disappointed that you got your hands on one that's that old. So, with that being said, guys, it's a 10 for me. Uh, I'm going to give it to 10 on the scale. Very, very tasty. Nice representation of the West Coast style here on the East Coast. So, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 98, world class. I would not argue with that at all. As a matter of fact, I'm giving it a 100 instead of a 98. So, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer, uh, here we go. Rate Beer. It says overall 100 and 100 in the style. That's more like it. Uh, it is a 100 beer, guys. So uh, you need to pick this up. You can get your hands on it and give it a try. Michael Terry, thanks so much for sending the main beer company's beers, fresh ones, down to me for me to try. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up for this one. If you've had this from, uh, from Main Beer, their lunch IPA, let me know what you think, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.